All right, so Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hukha, Kudash, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, Barakatai Yahshua, Barakatai Yahweh, Kala, Kala, Shalom, Shalom, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We're going to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and were well. Or who are overseeing the construction of the tabernacle of David, a more perfect tabernacle. Shalom to the Akim, while Akwaf scattered abroad, and Shalom to the said believers. This is Yahweh by Yahshua, by Yahweh, coming to you live through the spinning power of Yahweh by Shemi Shai. Give a quick lesson. We're going to get straight into it. This is Colossians 1 and 9. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you. And to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. And hey, not to me, um, that's kind of, well, I know speaking as a man, that's how I, you know, sometimes I feel deep down inside. You know, we, a, a lot of us, even though, you know, we say we're really out here for the elect, you know, deep down inside, you know, just me speaking as a man, it's like, dang, why can't all Israel just get right? Even though we know that, the will of the Most High is not for all Israel to get right and not for all Israel to hearken and not for all Israel to get this word. But part of the reason why we go out to the highways and byways is so that, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't know who the elect is. But we always extend that olive branch to every single soul and we hope that, hey, and ultimately that's, 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 I'm glad, you know what I'm saying? I remember that. Deep down inside, we, we hope that, you know, that person that walks by stops and inquires. We hope that, you know, somebody hears us down the street and just comes up to the camp and say, you know, hey, I heard y'all preaching the word down the street. Or, hey, I've been hearing videos about the Israelites. Can y'all, can y'all like, break down the understanding? Because we want them to what? Be filled with the knowledge of his will. Whose will? The Most High's will. The Most High's will is that we acknowledge our offenses. The Most High's will is to destroy this kingdom, this wicked-ass kingdom from out the face of the planet Earth. The Most High's will is to establish uh, Yahweh Shai's kingdom, wherein dwelleth righteousness. And ultimately, that just goes back to the good news that, hey, what's the good news? That, hey, we're not going to be like this forever. The time the time is coming to where we're going to take the um, the Most High is taking the yoke of iron, not only off our necks, but off our mind, that the so-called devil, not the so-called devil, the devil, that is the so-called white man, whose biblical nationality is the Edomites, Esau, Edom, Idumia, Amalek, where he coming to the time where we're gonna ha we're having that yoke of iron being taken off our necks and our minds. And that's the good news. The good news is that we're gonna have all these other nations as our slaves and our tributaries. The good news is that, hey, this oppression is not gonna last too much longer. We're getting to a point right now where we're coming closer to uh, where the jab is gonna be mandatory. Once that uh they get that FDA approval, that Food and Drug Administration approval, and that go ahead, that green light, hey, Joe Butthead is gonna roll out that mandatory vaccination, and that's what our wisdom and what spiritual understanding, because we always we know we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, and uh uh high uh spiritual wickedness in high places. We know that this is not a, a fleshy battle. We know that this is not a fleshly walk. Hey, to be carnal, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Verse 10, that she might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and what in increasing in the knowledge of the Most High. Because this thing is about growth. This thing is about earnesty, earnest, earnest, uh, earnest diligence and meek humbleness. Being fruitful in every good work. What are the good works? Going out to the highways of highways. Exalting and lifting up the name of Yahweh Bashmi al Fasting. Praying. Staying spiritually minded. Those are good works. And uh, let's go to Titus 1 and Titus 3 and 8. This is Titus 3 and 8. This is a faithful saying. And these things I will that thou affirm constantly. So what, what Paul is going into, you know, let me make sure I'm right. Yeah, Paul, he wrote this letter to uh, to Titus, one of his uh understudies, if I'm not being mistaken. He 
He said, hey, Titus, this is a faithful saying. What I'm about to tell you is something that you should hold near and dear to your heart and always be reminded. And these things will, will that affirm constantly that they which have believed in the Most High might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. Because why? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The only way you're going to work out your own salvation is through diligence. Diligence. Consistency. These things are important. So Colossians 1 and um, 11. Strengthened with all might. What according to his glorious power. Unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. Hey, like that. Um, count it worthy. So this is Acts 5 and 40. And to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council Rejoicing that they were counted worthy worthy to suffer shame for his name. And daily in the temple, in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. And that's what this thing is coming down to. Is it when it becomes inconvenient to serve the Lord? Are you going to still serve the Lord? Are you still going to magnify his holy name? Are you still going to maintain good works? Are you still going to maintain diligence? Are you going to still be long suffering with joyfulness? Being glad to, to, to suffer such temptation for the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. He says, giving thanks to the Father, which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. What does that mean? Uh, being found worthy to be a part of not only the elect, but being found worthy to be just ultimately just to be a son of the Most High. Giving thanks unto the Father. Which have made us meet. Made us meet. What does that mean? The Most High has, has quickened us. It's the spirit that quickeneth. And that word quickeneth means to invigorate the spirit. It has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance. The inheritance is, is the kingdom of the Most High. 13. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness. And have translated us into what? Into the kingdom of his dear son. Yasha Allah, he is the prince of the power, the kingdom of his dear son, the kingdom of heaven, which will be established here on earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness? And that darkness is, is the ideologies and the philosophies of this world, the cares of this world, that carnal mindset. We've been delivered from that. Wait, let me get that scripture because I'll, I'll, it's one of my favorite scriptures. Um, 1 John 5 and 3 For this is the love of God That we keep his commandments And his commandments shall not grievous And peep this For whatsoever is born of the Most High Overcometh the world And this is the victory that overcometh the world Even our faith Who is he that overcometh the world But he that believeth Yahweh Shai Is the son of the Most High See what this word for world is. It's probably eons. Eons. Oh, cosmos. And it's a, a it's a government. So we can overcome the, the, the philosophies and our ideologies of the so-called white man, which is what? Everything the white man pushes is in direct opposition to the scriptures. So when we overcome that, what? We can we have the victory not only over the, the the mental yoke of iron that the white man has put upon our 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 mindsets, but we also get the victory over over really death because what the wages of sin is death and all this society pushes is death sin do as thou will and once we overcome that what we become subservient to the most high in all righteousness spirit and in truth. And I know uh, this was a a quick little lesson. Inspired by the spirit, you know, I'll probably come back on later, later on, uh, today and do a, a longer lesson. But this is Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, 
whether it be good or whether it be evil. And with that being said, you know, holla y'all.